Hi everyone, in today's video, we are doing a scrub off, if you will. I'm going to test out, I don't wanna call it viral, but I've seen a lot of people and I see a ton of advertisements for this electric scrub brush that's supposed to make cleaning your bathroom tiles super easy. Um, it comes with different attachments, so you can do the corner, you know, ooh, mop brush. Um, I did already start going through things and just taking the plastic off so we can skip that part. And I'm gonna be testing that up against these attachments, whoops, these attachments, which I got for free from Timu uh, during a sponsored video. So I did pay for this set off of Amazon and the attachments from Timu replace this little drill bit here and it goes like that and brrr. I don't necessarily know what to expect. I think out of the two, I would possibly prefer this one just because this battery is really heavy on this. Downside, you have to have a drill in order to be able to use this. Upside, this one is always gonna be cheaper than that one since this one comes with all the bells and whistles. So here are some of the attachments. I'm interested in using this corner brush. Uh, what is this one for? It just says dome brush. I don't know what you would use a dome brush for. Um, a flatter, bigger one. I don't know what this one is. This is the little, oh, there you go. This is the base for the mop. Got it, got it, got it. So you put it together. Um, then we have the charging cord. I did check because I wanted to make sure for the video that it was charged. So on a positive note, it does come charged. So, and it comes with a little hook thing. So I guess you can, when you're not using it, hook it on and store it easily. So that's pretty cool. It comes with this, an extender arm. My shower, it's more, you'll see it. <laughs> um, it's purple right now because of dyed hair. Yeah, you know. Um, I don't think I'll necessarily be needing this because I'm not reaching high up, but maybe for the lower corners, I think I might skip that and just jump into this. So let's see how to attach this. Okay, got it. For some reason, my head, I'm like, oh, it should go this way, but apparently it goes this way. So you gotta line it up and then twist it. Okay, and so now it's locked with this on too. So I think that's it. So then you press this button over here. And you can see it's going and it's at 74%. So that's low and then that's high. And then you have this attached or this button here, if you press it, wherever you put it oh wait no they'll either lock like that lock like that or lock like that all right so that's off all right let's let's go test this out <laughs> no judgment here um literally just from the dye this just happened all now yep this was all white and this is what um arctic fox hair dye does so i did spray some bathroom cleaner on it Mm, purple hair dye. Um, the first one we're gonna test out is the one that attaches to the drill. So all you have to do, let's see if I can even do this one-handed. Mm, maybe not. Okay, I finally got it on. It was stuck for whatever reason. So I guess maybe we should just start with the bottom because that's obviously the worst. I put on Scrubbing Bubbles Soap Scum Remover Spray, whatever you wanna call it. I know that's probably not the best. I have Zep. Zep works amazing. Can't recommend that enough. So if this doesn't pull up with this and this, I am gonna try out the Zep next, so let's see. Now let's get some water going. You can 100% see the spot that I scrubbed on, literally right there. So I would say that one's a success. Let me get the other one and we'll test that out on that spot right next to it. All right, so here's this one. Just in that little test, it does work, but you can still see some spots as opposed to, I feel like the drill one was a lot better. All right, 
So this is usually my go-to trusty brush, as you can tell. So I just wanna see. And I do not spray any product on this part. So you can tell slowly it is taking off the purple hair dye. So that's with no product whatsoever. So I can imagine adding product to it, you would get results like that side. So I'm gonna finish up even more so cleaning this bathroom. And then I'm going to review the three items and choose which one's my favorite. Which one do you guys think I like the best out of this one, this one, or this one? It's this one, which that blows my mind. I really, really wanted to like this. I really, really wanted to like that. And don't get me wrong, they do the job. They absolutely do. But holy moly, my forearms and my triceps hurt. And that's just because the weight of this insane. So the idea is nice, but you would need a lightweight drill. I mean, this one's, I guess, so more heavy duty. So to sit there and be lifting it like this the whole time, I mean, it's one thing if you're just doing a hole in the wall or getting a screw in, it's a whole other thing to be cleaning tiles repetitively and trying to hold this. Even now that's a lot. And then with this one, there's just no control. And I think it's because of how long it is and how much it wants to rotate that like literally, if you don't hold on for your dear life, it's like, whoa. So thank goodness it's just cleaning and not painting because holy crap, that would be a disaster. Um, same thing too, even though this one is lighter weight than the drill, while you're holding it because you have to keep it so steady you are using your muscles to push and hold it in place so it can actually do its job hence why i took out good old trusty you know what this is only i think two or three bucks i don't know if it was if this one might be from target or home depot but you just put the product on the tile on the grout and it, I still have a piece of hair and I'm trying to get out. <laughs> and you just go like this and it's so easy and it's so lightweight that I was thinking these two would save me time, save me effort, save me energy. No, stick with this. I do love the concept. Um, that being said, I'll still hold on to this since I did buy it from Amazon. I don't necessarily want to return it. And since that one's free, I'll hold on to it. I'm sure there will be a time where I want to use it. Maybe when I clean the grouts with Zep um, for the floor. Because I've done that before and my whole house, I used good old trusty. I sat there scrubbing each of these tile grouts, but over time, you know, dirt and debris does stain it. So I wonder if it would almost be easier using this with gravity holding it, but you're still, I don't know, still gotta hold it. And I wish that there was a way that I didn't have to use this extender. Like if I could just put this tip on this part and just have this little wand that would be the easiest i don't need all that length to it but it, there's not like you need that because this tip doesn't work with that attachment so you see that's the part that i need to be able to, to attach to so i have no choice but to use this part it is what it is you know but all right guys well thanks for hanging out with me today if you want feel free to like and subscribe and until next time bye friends